It's Friday morning and I'm at the fish market, the local authentic space to go buy the best fish in town. Prices are great, the produce is fresh, and everything is amazing. Today I'm making a baked hamour with a side of onion-based rice. So after a fun day at the fish market, we're finally back home. My wish fish has been washed and I'm ready to start cooking. I'm going to start with making the marinade for the fish. I've got some coriander, some cumin, turmeric, garlic, some black and white pepper, some lemon, some fresh coriander leaves, uh, some olive oil and of course salt to season. So I'm going to start first, I'm going to put some olive oil into my bowl. And this is going to be my base. Add some salt into here and throw in my pepper and all my spices. Now being half Sudanese, I'm very influenced by my uh, the spices used in the Sudanese culinary. So cumin is very important and this is why I like using cumin in my fish marinade. So I put on all my spices and I'm just going to squeeze in some lemon. Just gives it some nice tanginess. Here's our lovely hamour and now it's time to get our hands dirty. But before I start, I think it's important to season because as much as we marinate, salt goes a long way. It's going to be important to cut some creases into the fish so that the marinade can go nicely into it. It's important to do this because I want the, the, the flavors to go into the meat. Okay, so we'll just rub this and put generous amounts. Now I'm going to cut some lemon into thin slices and I'm going to use it to stuff my fish. I feel like the juices, once they are in the fish, give it extra flavor. So I get my coriander, which I've already been washed. And I'm just going to stuff it inside and then I put the lemon slices inside. So now I've got my fish stuffed and I'm going to cover it with foil. And you just want to let it chill. Obviously, the longer you can leave it chill, the more flavorsome the fish will be. And in the meantime, I'm going to preheat my oven at 250 degrees. My fish has been marinated for about half an hour, and now I'm ready to put it in the oven. Usually, the rule of thumb is for every kilo, cook it for about 20 to 25 minutes. I've got two kilos, two and a half kilos, so I'm going to put it in there for about an hour, an hour ten. And I will know when it's cooked when the fish starts to have some white juices flowing out of it. Okay, so I'm now going to start on my rice recipe. This is actually a, a healthier take on the traditional Lebanese Arab Sayyadiyya. For this recipe, I need onions and I need some bay leaves, some cloves, cardamom seeds, uh, cinnamon, black pepper, white pepper, turmeric, and some whole black peppers, and obviously some salt for seasoning. The main part is the ingredient, and the main flavoring comes from the onion. So you need to basically get your onion and chop it into long, thin slices. I've got my pan and my pot on the fire, and I'm gonna put it on high heat. I'm gonna add all of my onions, quarter cup of oil. And while I'm frying this, I'm gonna add my spices. I've got, I'm gonna be cooking four cups of rice. I'm gonna put for each cup, one clove. And this way, it's gonna be aromatic, but not overwhelming. I'm gonna add about four cloves, a few bay leaves, and some pepper. So I'll just put some cinnamon sticks in here. I'm just gonna let it brown. It's important to brown because that's where the color comes in the rice, so that the nice flavor kicks in. Because I'm not using a traditional fish stock for my rice, I use a lot more onion so that I get a lot of flavor in it. My onion is starting to brown. I'm just gonna reserve some on the side, which I'm gonna fry further until it's darker. It's a deep red, and I'm gonna use it to, as a topping on my rice. So I've already soaked my rice and washed it. I have four cups of rice in here, so I'm gonna add four cups of water. Three and four, and then four teaspoons of salt. I'm gonna add some turmeric for color, but one teaspoon is enough. Some white pepper, half a teaspoon is fine. Black pepper, another half a teaspoon, and some more cinnamon for that extra flavor. Just give this a quick toss. 
rice and I'm just going to leave this on low fire and it's going to cook for 20 minutes. So I'm just going to serve it onto the plate. This dish is full of flavor. So yummy. Just fried these a bit more. I'm just going to pour it. This smells lovely. I just want to make sure that the sauces looks lovely. I wish you were here in the kitchen to smell the aromas. Mm, this smells good. 